obligations and the battle to fulfill a man's own obligations and you see the eternal verities the, you hear people talk about the eternal truths well what are they They'd, if you're talking about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table or you're talking about the Knights Templar and the, the great Jacques de Molay or if you're talking about William Wallace or Robert Bruce doesn't matter who the man is the problems that faced him 1500 years ago, 700 years ago, 300 years ago, have not changed essentially. That's why Shakespeare is still regarded as the greatest English language playwright, because he deals with those basic and essential problems that all of us have to face. In the 10th century, in the 12th century, in the 21st century, Joe Blow, the common man, is faced with the same problems. How to feed his family, how to put a roof over their heads, how to protect them in the hostile environment that he perceives as threatening the sanctity of his family and his household. How to stand up on his own feet in the face of frequently overwhelming injustice. It's just as true today as it was in 1066 when William the Conqueror landed in England. Today the injustices are probably, arguably of a different kind, but they are hugely overpowering in terms of the sense of helplessness that they breed in ordinary people. All you've got to do is deal with one of our government bureaucracies. The individual people within that bureaucracy with whom you deal may range from the downright domineering and unfriendly to somebody who bends over backwards to go out of their way to make things right for you. But overall, faced with that bureaucracy, the average man and woman feels helpless. They feel impotent. And nobody, no man likes to feel impotent. But some of us have that ability to transcend the difficulties and to beard the lion in his den, to go against the powers that be and fight for his own inborn sense of justice. Thank God it still happens and it always will.